Well, here in this video, we would like to find out the internal resistance of a cell using potentiometer. So, let's quickly have a look at the design of a potentiometer. How does it look like, right? It will have a wire, a manganese wire with a high specific resistance and low temperature coefficient. Above it, there will be a primary circuit. What does the primary circuit has? has a primary cell with a strong EMF with some internal resistance. There is a rheostat where for a particular position it will generate a certain resistance called a series resistance. This wire also will have some length L, capital L, some resistance R, right? That's a primary circuit that will always be keep supplying current into this wire. What is there in the secondary circuit? In the secondary circuit, we connect to the cell whose EMF you want to compare. So I will call this as E primary. Let me call the secondary circuit EMF as E that you want to determine, right? Now, this is further connected to a high resistance and then galvanometer and then to a jockey. For a particular position of a jockey, you will get a balancing length L1 where the galvanometer shows a zero deflection, that means potentiometer is balanced. So what we can say, when, I will take a little space here, when only cell is connected in the secondary circuit, that means this part of the circuit, only when cell is connected in secondary circuit as per the principle of potentiometer emf of that secondary uh, cell is directly proportional to the balancing length l1 now what we do is we connect something else to this cell what is the cell is an external resistance r so earlier also you can have drawn that you could have drawn that with the help of a key. So earlier you have kept this key open. Now in the second case, key is closed. So what happens? When key is closed in the secondary circuit. Be careful, not in the primary circuit, but in the secondary circuit. In the primary circuit also, we could have drawn a key to control the on and off of the circuit, but we are not talking about the primary circuit key, rather we are talking about the secondary circuit key. When the key is closed, current passes through this piece. That means this is not the EMF that you are handling, rather we are talking about the potential drop across this resistance. We can say voltage drop across external resistance in secondary circuit is V for which again this galvanometer shows a zero deflection that means in that case you can write what we can write V is directly proportional to balancing length L2 as per the principle of potentiometer so this 1 by 2 gives you EMF of the cell in the secondary circuit by the potential drop across the same cell is L1 by L2 where L1 and L2 are the balancing lengths of respect to potentiometer. What is this E by V I would like to calculate. So if you draw that circuit again little separately here let me draw. So this is E, this is R that you are talking about. So, this piece, what are you referring here is actually this one. So, this I am just redrawing for the sake of convenience. This is the case, right? So, what I can write? This also will have some internal resistance, right? 
let that internal resistance is equal to R. Then what I can write? Current in that, like this, a current will be passing, I will be equal to total EMF by total resistance, R plus R. Right? So, what we can say? So, let's don't worry about the resistance of this primary cell R given. This is not applicable here. So, rather, okay, that's also R, but we are not using it right now. I'm calling this value for this cell having internal resistance R. In that case, what happens? Let's write the equation. Uh, MF I equal to total EMF by total resistance. So, the potential drop across that resistance R is IR. I is E by capital R plus small r multiplied by R. This is V. From here, I can get a value of E by V. Let's take this to this side. It becomes capital R plus small r by capital R. I have just rearranged this term to this side and this term to this side. So this is uh, 1 E by V. This is the E by V of the same cell, right? So, as LHS of the 3 and 4 are equal, I can just equate the RHS as LHS of 3 equal to 4. The RHS are also equal. What is RHS? Capital R plus small r by capital R for equation number 4. L1 by L2 for equation number 3. So, dividing with capital R gives you this then small r by capital R is L1 by L2 minus 1 that is L1 minus L2 by L2 that implies small r equal to L1 minus L2 by L2 of capital R. This is how we can find out the internal resistance of a cell using potentiometer.